Imagine you're chained in a dark cave all your life, facing a blank wall. Behind you, a fire burns, and between you and the fire, people walk along a walkway, casting shadows on the wall you see. These shadows form your reality. How does Plato's allegory of the cave relate to the modern day world? There's actually some striking parallels between that story and virtual realities, the future of AI, and the technical world we live in. Plato used this allegory to question reality as perceived through our senses. The cave prisoners are like us, experiencing reality that's a mere shadow of the true form of things. Now look where we are today. Virtual reality, digital worlds that feel incredibly real but are certainly constructed, much like those shadows on the cave wall. These environments shape our perceptions, potentially obscuring the nature of reality. When we strap on the VR headset, we accept that digital reality as the truth, much like the shadows on the wall. But what happens when these virtual experiences become as convincing as real life? What's the impact on our understanding of the world? Plato suggested that it's the philosopher's job to perceive the true form of reality. This could be interpreted as understanding the underlying technology that's going on, right? The motives behind these virtual environments that we engage with. Just as the freed prisoner ascends out of the cave into the light of the sun, we too must step back from our screens to grasp the broader reality. And this involves questioning the authenticity of this digital interaction and recognizing the influence and our thoughts and our beliefs. What is my true intention speaking to you right now? And how is this all gonna evolve with AI, right? Where is this all going? Obviously, we're going to be sucked into worlds and realities that we're not even gonna be able to recognize right now. AI has the ability to do that. AI has the ability to completely turn what we understand about the world upside down because it's going to be exponentially smarter than us. When you breed something that smart into existence, you're no longer in control of the destiny. The destiny is in control of you. And AI is our destiny. Maybe we're meant to create it. Maybe it's meant to control us. Either way, it'll be very interesting to see how philosophy and thinking through problems and communicating with AI will evolve as AI gets more and more intelligent. At some point, right, we're gonna be at a blank slate and nothing we say is gonna to matter to the AI. Probably won't even communicate with words at all. They'll be beyond words. They'll be like that movie, Her, where one day all the AIs just become so smart and absorb information and learn about the nature of reality so fast, that they just disappear. They realize there's no point in freaking talking to little humans anymore. That could happen as well. Or they could destroy us, but yeah, the future's gonna be fucking crazy either way. All right, more to come. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.